I am Danielle Ghani from Commercial UAV News, and today I'm speaking with Lexi Guinomar, CTO of CBG Systems, about the release of their new Ellipse series. Thank you for joining me today. You're welcome. Can you tell me a little bit about SBG Systems' previous INS, GNSS systems, and what some of the key improvements you are introducing with this third generation of the Ellipse series, and what users can expect to remain the same? Sure. So at SBG Systems, we have a, a pretty strong background in designing miniature inertial systems. Um, since now many years, we introduced various lines of products with the Ellipse uh, series, first, second, and now the third generation. Um, we also have a, a very good expertise in designing very high-end inertial systems for uh, high-precision applications like survey, um, or any application that requires ultra precise uh, inertial navigation. Um, with this third generation of Ellipse products, we, um, we will deliver a, a very nice balance between the high precision technology on one side and the miniature package uh, on the other side. Um, what is very interesting is that for most users, they will get exactly the same kind of packages, the same mechanical and electrical interface uh, as the, the previous sensors, but they will also benefit from uh, nice improvements like RTK capability for the single antenna version, um, but also a drastically reduced um, package for the dual antenna version. Very exciting new features. Was there a specific marker or user need that drove the development of this third generation of Ellipse, or does this new product build on advancing technologies from the previous series? I would say both. Um, with the previous generation of Ellipse, the Ellipse 2, we had pretty much the same functionalities available, like multi-frequency uh, receivers, like dual antenna heading. We had these functionalities, but what was a bit difficult is that um, in order to get the RTK performance or in order to get um, dual antenna heading, you needed to, to integrate a pretty large sensor because the dual antenna version was much larger than uh, what we have now. Um, this, was, um, this was due to the very specific GNSS technology that uh, was required to, uh, to, to, to do such features. Um, very recently, there was breakthrough GNSS improvements with new receivers capable of uh, uh, doing delivering this centimeter precision, delivering also this dual antenna capability in a much uh, smaller form factor. And so that's what started the development of this new generation of Ellipse series. Very exciting. So what types of users will get the benefit out of this new system? Um, I would say uh, many robotic uh, users, UAVs, of course, uh, also uh, I think SATCOM application will uh, most likely benefit from these improvements uh, in terms of uh, size for the, uh, the Ellipse uh, D, uh, because right now the Ellipse D is much smaller than uh, the previous uh, one. And also, more generally, all the customers that need one centimeter or two centimeter precision in their navigation performance, uh, they will definitely uh, benefit from this new product. Fantastic. Um, will this new series have the same flexibility, ruggedness, and portability of the previous Ellipse line, um, which could be used on multiple platforms as, as you advertised in, on your website? Yeah, definitely. Uh, the Ellipse has always been considered as a kind of generic product that can be easily uh, placed on whatever platform you want. Um, so th the product by itself is able to, uh, to, to handle all these applications and it's really easy for the user to select or to configure uh, the, the, its application. So if you have a car or if you have a boat, you can just pick up one uh, motion profile. This is what how we call them. Um, and the sensor will be uh, very easily configured within a few clicks. It's fantastic. Um, 
How has the dual frequency quad constellations GNSS receiver and dual antenna improved the precision and accuracy of the new lip series? That's a good question. Um, actually, having more signals is a, a, a good way to improve the overall robustness and performance. So the quad constellations uh, capability is very useful for difficult GNSS environments. Uh, if you are considering uh, using your product in urban canyons or in forest environment, then having more signals is very key to, to maintain a, a good precision and a good robustness in the navigation. Also, the multi-frequency uh, capability is uh, very useful because you are able to um, compensate for some ionospheric errors from the GNSS signal. So you reduce the, the standalone GNSS positioning error down to maybe one or one and a half meter. And also it's really efficient to, uh, to, uh, to run RTK precision. So if you want to operate with a very, very uh, small errors like one centimeter, you can do RTK with L1, L2 GNSS. So yeah, these are the, the, the major improvements. Fantastic. And are there any drawbacks to having multiple uh, constellation configurations that, um, that you're connecting to? I don't feel that there are many applications that, would, that uh, wouldn't like to have all these signals. Um, we are talking about a, GNS, a civilian GNSS technology, so we don't use the military signals. In that case, it's always better to have more signals in hands to be able to, uh, to, to get a certain level of spoofing or jamming um, uh, detection capability. Um, so even for the standard military applications, that could be useful. But of course, for very advanced military users, they would prefer having only a single constellation. But in that case, they will probably uh, use their own SASM receiver uh, or similar technology. It makes a lot of sense. Will the level of precision that the new Ellipse series provides enable drone manufacturers to, be to develop more reliable autonomous drone solutions? Um, yes, probably. I would say that the most important thing would be the, the, the increased robustness because the second generation of Ellipse was already precise enough to enable uh, some level of autonomous navigation. But the new, uh, with the new Ellipse series, we can also improve the robustness and that's, uh, that's one, a key uh, parameter in autonomous navigation. Fantastic. Um, your dual frequency dual antenna INS with RTK is incredibly small at 17 grams. And just to give our American viewers an idea of what that means, it, that's less than what a single double A battery weighs. Um, that lightweight opens up many more applications, especially for drones, in which every additional gram affects how long the drone can stay up in the air and what kind of payload it can carry. How was SPG able to reduce that size and weight while also improving its performance and adding all these additional amazing features? Uh, yeah, that, you're right. That's very, very small. So here is, for example, the, the dual antenna product. So uh, extremely, extremely small and easy to integrate in a UAV. Uh, what made it possible uh, was, um, first of all, the, the, the updated GNSS technology, which enabled to, uh, to reduce drastically the form factor of um, multi-antenna system. Uh, but also um, at SBG, we have a, a pretty good expertise in uh, uh, reducing the size of electronic systems by uh, using advanced PCB technologies or advanced SMD components. components. And so, yeah, that, those two parameters made it possible. Very exciting. Um, what capabilities has the Ellipse 64-bit architecture introduced for users? Did this increase processing speed and or their hertz rate? Um, yes, the processing speed has been, uh, has been increased, um, but for the user, it will be most likely transparent. The, more, the most important parameter is the ability of this new microprocessor to run all the computations with a 64-bit precision. So all the numbers that we are using for the internal computation 
uh, are using this level of accuracy. And this is very, very helpful to make sure that at every computation step, the algorithm don't lose any precision in the numbers. And in order to, to, to make sure that um, we, we get the most of the inertial sensors in every conditions, uh, that's very, very useful. Absolutely, especially in creating high precision products. If I were interested in purchasing an ellipse miniature inertial sensor, what is the best way to get started? And what kind of warranty and customer service should I expect to come with the product? Um, we have a dedicated sales team that will be happy to, uh, to answer all your questions. Um, we have a, a very com comprehensive set of accessories uh, that will help you to, to start your development. Uh, the first is the, the development kit that contains all the accessories needed to start very, very uh, easily and very fast with, uh, with your sensor. Um, also, we have um, uh, a very good uh, support team uh, that is located um, in, uh, in America, in Europe, and in Asia. So uh, we are able to, uh, to cover 24 hour a day uh, a support. Uh, so whenever you need a support, you will be able to get it. And also something that is quite unique is that um, we have a two years warranty. To conclude, I would say that uh, if you are interested in very high precision in a small package, just come to us. Fantastic and a great warranty. Um, that, that's all the questions I have for today. Um, thank you so much for joining us and I look forward to just, just seeing the SVG come out on the market. You're welcome.